Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a quick split screen in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's gonna look a little something like this right here. Basically, you just have the, the main footage and then it slides over to something that, you know, sort of helps tell the story of the main footage. In this situation, adding these two things together makes it sort of look like, uh, you know, time is passing and then we're traveling somewhere. And of course you can, you know, keep this uh, animation going. You could have something slide in from the bottom or maybe another one come in, but it's a really good way to just sort of throw two pieces of footage together and sort of even transition between them that way. So let's get started. This is a pretty easy effect to pull off. What we're going to do is we're just going to delete these in here and then we're going to grab them back in. So we're going to have our base footage on the bottom right here, which is just this uh, HD um, sort of watch someone playing with a watch. Uh, again, I got all these off videos.pexels.com. Great, really uh, royalty free stuff off there. And then what we want to do is we want to grab in the other one, which is this one right here. And this is what we're going to be transitioning into. So all we need to do for this effect is we need to get to the point where we want it to transition. So maybe you want to do it right about one second in. Then we're going to go into our effects. We're going to look for the crop effect right here under video effects transform crop drag that onto our top video now we want to go from the right to left so we want to bring this left one all the way up to 100 percent like so and then we're going to keyframe that um so let's move just one in there and then keyframe it and then now we're going to move forward about maybe 10 frames i'm holding the shift key here so that i can go five at a time so now i went 10 frames since i clicked twice and what we're gonna do is then bring it into 50% right here. So now it's halfway. So now what we have is the beginning of the little reveal here. We wanna make this you know, look a little better. So we're gonna do easy in or we can go easy out here and then easy in right here and let's check this. Uh, so yeah, it's starting fast and then going slow over time. So yeah, now it just has that little bit of a slowed movement near the end. Makes it just look a little bit better with that, a little cleaner right there. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the bottom footage right here. And all we have to do is just reposition this because this is the center of our shot. And now our new center is going to be just the left quadrant over here. So we just need to recenter what our main focus was on the left here. So to do that, we're just going to click the position key right where it starts, which I think I started it um, one key from ahead. So we'll do that here as well. And then we'll just hold the shift key one, two and then drag it over to the right. Oops, that is the Y, not the X. Drag it over and center it back again, so right about there. And then now we have it sliding over and then it moving as well. And then with these, we just wanna do the exact same thing. We're just going to zoom this in by grabbing this little guy, right click, temporal impolation, easy out, right click, temporal impolation, easy in. And there we have it. Now we have this nice transition working right here. If we want a little bit of an off transition, we can do that too. Just move this forward. And then now this will slide in and then this will move over. Uh, if you get these sort of synced up, you can make them look pretty cool. Like uh, maybe if we move it back just a little bit. Yeah, just like that. So they aren't exactly in sync now. And now it looks like the right is actually sort of pushing the left here. And all you have to do for that is just to bring it out just a little bit. So the other effect starts right here, right? Yeah, right there. And then this one starts maybe, I want to go like one, let's see, it's one keyframe forward. So that's all you have to do is just sort of offset it by one keyframe and you get this fun little push effect going in there as well. That is it on this tutorial. Like I said, it's a really short, really simple thing, but having it in your tool belt is really good, especially for those vlog type contents or, you know, just really just trying to throw two pieces of footage together. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos, similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.